Hi, how y'all doing? Today is Friday, the 25th of October, 2024. I don't know where I was going to go with the 19. Yeah, 25. That's a number I seen in my dream a couple years ago. Still don't know what it means. Um, here in Ontario, Canada, the sky got cloud covered. Giant mothership above, probably. Right? The temperature went down. It was like minus two overnight. The frost on the ground stayed until about nine o'clock. I had to drop a key off. So the guy used to drive around his sister for a lock that was on his storage unit. So I got that over by 930. As soon as the frost was gone, I was like, I got to get this done or I'm not going to feel like it. Right? And I've been, I forgot I was supposed to do it like a week ago. But she reminded me by a text yesterday. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that, right? So I got that done. Came home, and I've just been sitting in my chair all day. Had a nap this afternoon, too, around 1 o'clock. I got so tired. My son was really tired today, too. It's the energy, I'm sure of it. Yesterday, I did not make a video. I was in a lot of icky sensations. I went to the chiropractor. He did a bunch of new stuff to me. He was like, oh my gosh, what happened to you? I said, I have no idea. I said, and then he asked me a question. He was like, I was like, oh, my ear just started ringing. And that was around three o'clock yesterday because it hadn't rung for a couple of days. And I don't know why he said it, but I said, oh, my ear just started ringing while he was working on me, right? And he's like, because that has something to do with the CMEs, the solar flares. He No, he says the Aurora Borealis. I said, well, you know what the Aurora Borealis is actually, right? Gamma waves. And uh, he was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, you might not uh, uh, believe me. I said, if it resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, it's okay. Right? I said, but you know how Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk? And that's what the gamma rays? He's like, yeah. I said, that's what we're going through. Only it's doing a little bit of a time. Because if it did it all at once like it did to him, would probably kill us, right? I said, you remember how, you know, crazy he went when it was happening, you know, smashing everything, just, he was like, yeah, yeah, right? I said, I know it might sound a little bit crazy to you, but if it resonates, it does, right? And uh, he was like, yeah, yeah. And uh, I thought that was different, right? Because he never got the, the job, right? But he's got so much going on in his life. I don't think he's really had time to do any spiritual work the way I have, we have. All right. There was a man there, too. When I first went in, he came out walking with the guy. He does all the time. He walks you back out of the office after he's done adjusting you, right, to get his next patient. And he did that. And he seen me. He was like, okay, Teresa, come on. I was like, okay. And I walked up. The man glanced at me. And then I walked up. And as I'm walking past him, He's like this close to me, right? And as soon as I get beside him, he's going this way, I'm going that way, right? He stops and turns his head like that and stares me, tries to stare me in the eyes, right? And I just kept on walking. I was like, that's weird. That's never happened before, right? If I had turned my head, I would have faced, I would have been in his face, touching, right? I thought that was strange. I did. I had a really weird dream too that night. Not last night, the night before. Biden was chasing me around, right? He came to a place where me and my mother were at, and he wanted to do this promotion video, and he brought his wife. Only it wasn't his wife. She was too young, right? And I had said that. That's not his wife. She's too young, right? And he overheard me, and he came up to me and goes, yeah, he says, I had to kill the old one, he said, because I need the new one. She looks better on camera, not so fat, and the age, you know, it doesn't put five years on her kind of thing. I went like, oh, yeah, hmm, right? I just walked away kind of thing, right? And then I found myself, and then he was like, I want to talk to you. And I was like, no, no, I got stuff to do. Goodbye, right? And I'm out in the wilderness, and I'm walking up this rock shoal by a lake, right, or down this rock shoal to a lake. And it just so happens he's down there with this young wife killing her. And I was like, this old man's crazy. I turned around. I started walking the other way. Like, how does he know where I am? Right. 
and he's trying to come after me and I was just like, no, go away, right? You know what I mean? I wasn't afraid of him or anything. It was annoying. And yeah, I woke up and I thought, that was strange. Why was he in my dream? Right? Very strange. The Shuma was at 11 today. Do you know what it is today? 70. That's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I feel like electricity is buzz buzzing all the way through me. I got woken up in the rise by my ears ringing. Right? And, yeah, funny taste in my mouth. My body, my left side tried to twist on me earlier what me when I laid down for my nap. And all I did was sit up, I laid, laid down, covered myself up, and I realized the blanket was too far up. So I sat straight up to grab it, the bottom, and throw it over my feet. And my something went in my back, and it twisted, and I could feel my left side going to spasm and cramp up. And I was like, no, right? My left rib just started aching like crazy. Right, so I put my hand, my right hand, my left hand around the right side of my rib, and I give a pull, try to straighten myself out, and I heard a crack in my vertebrae, and the pain went away, and I went, oh, thank goodness, and I just laid straight back. I I just kept on on my back, and I was just like, just let it go, let it go, relax. You know, you just got put into shape yesterday, because I went to the Cairo, right, and he did a whole bunch of new stuff. Because I explained to him, I was laying down on my bed the other day and I was talking to my body, asking it what was wrong, how could I help it, right? And uh, it said that your right hip is too high and your left side has fallen. That's why you have so much problem in your leg and your foot. And I was like, well, I don't know what to do about that, right? So when I went to the chiropractor, I told him this when he asked me how I was doing. He was like, oh, good place to start. Okay, lay down. Let me check that out. Right? I laid down. He's like, yep. Your left, your right hip's high and everything. I said, is there anything you can show me to do to try to get it to go down? I explained to him just what I said to you. And he goes, that makes sense. Right? So he did a whole bunch of different cracks on me and positions. and Sounds kinky, right? And stuff like that, you know? And when I first went in, I was having a hard time breathing right? My energy was just sucked, right? It was just being sucked right out of me. I was having a hard time breathing. Moving was, was just a chore kind of thing. And when I, as soon as he did it and he got my, my bones to, to go into a different place, my voice changed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just weird yesterday. But it was okay because the pain in my ribs and my solar plexus has diminished greatly. And I am very grateful because I was in severe discomfort, right? And, yeah, so I just took it easy last night when I, or yesterday when I came home after. I haven't been doing hardly anything. I did my laundry yesterday, but it was only like one load, right? Had a shower. Just had to get myself into shape so I could go to the chiropractor kind of thing. Because with this ascension symptoms, the energies just get sucked right out of us, you know. I'm not the only one. This happening to all of us, right? I've been seeing it in people. And I talked to my son, and it's happening to him, too. He doesn't like to admit it a lot, but it is. I can tell. All right? Second sense. Sixth sense. Seventh sense. Who knows? So, yeah, just don't overdo anything. Just do what you got to get done to look after yourself. No extra ac extra curricular activities, right? Dreaming, too. I've been dreaming every night, all night for a week, all right? I don't remember what I was dreaming about last night. I did and when I woke up, but it's gone. Because I really didn't think much of it. Nothing stood out to me, right? I asked my dream team every night before I go to sleep to help me in the astral realm, right, when I'm traveling. And to take me, guide me to the places where I need to go to learn what I need to know, right? That's what I've been doing.
as an intention before I go to sleep. After I, I give my gratitude list for my ancestors and my loved ones and all this good stuff, right? I give gratitude to my ancestors when I rise to before the breath of life every every day. Uh, yesterday I was watching tarot card readers, two of them, that tell the truth. Uh, the cards both said there won't be a civil war. No civil war. That's what the bad guys want. But it's not going to happen. They might try to do a PSYOP, a spin-off, right, in one area, you know what I mean, with their crisis actors and pretend that that's happening. But I'm sure the people in those areas, you know, will mess it up. Because this is the time we're in, the great revealing, right? Nothing they do or try to do will work. It's just not in the stars. It's not in the astro astrology. It can't be done, right? So, yeah, just be aware, right? It's not going to happen. In 2020, part of the download I got was they were going to try to do that, but they're not going to allow it to happen. Just like the fake of it in alien invasion. Anything that they do, they might try to pull it off, but it will be found out right away because the good ETs do not want us to be afraid of them. I was having a, a talk to my son about the ETs and the rise, and today I can't remember where that came from. Right? Strange. Anyway, yeah, two tarot card readers uh, clarified that. My mind was just going to go back and try to figure shit out, but I was like, no, I'm making a video. Stop it. It could take a while. Right? That's why I acted that way. And what was the other thing that I wrote down? Oh, Rod Hayes, too, did a video yesterday. And the most important thing that people should be doing right now to prepare what is coming is get your kids out of the friggin' schools, right? They are going to do a release Manchuria, or Manchurian candidates are going to be released upon society. And there's going to be trouble in the school with the little ones. And it'll be to force the parents to take their children out of school so that the school system can be restructured for the children and not for the pedophiles in the indoctrination camps. Hell. Right? But too many people are selfish and only think about themselves and use schools as daycares. So, unfortunately, it looks like some bad shit's going to happen to some young ones because their parents are too caught up in their materialistic life. Right? to look to raise them themselves so that's the most important things get the children out of the schools yeah i've been saying that for four years nobody's listened to me right oh well they'll all have to pay the paper that's just the way it goes you know what I haven't seen the moon for a while either nope and there's been clear skies up until Today, no moon, soft doing something somewhere. What? I have no idea. Oh, I gotta change the way I'm sitting. I can feel this right in between, a bone in my back, right adjacent to my chest kind of thing. Maybe up a little bit, <coughs> just where my uh, sternum is, right? Some kind of that heavy density I was talking about. It's not all gone. It's trying to come back. I won't allow it. I can't have it. All right? I just got too much, too painful the other night sitting there. I thought I was done. I did. Even eating hurt. My ribs, they were just like squeezing me. But, yeah, I've been poisoned a lot by the they over the 61 years I've been alive. Although I haven't got vaccinations since I was a child and I was forced to by my mother, right? So I go to cruel hell school, right? And yeah, 
whatever Neela they what it was that they gave me after I had my daughter, Charity. They give me a needle in the leg, in the side of the leg. I'm not sure what the hell that was about. But uh, it just happens to be on the side that's in pain all the time, right? Yeah. So I've been pretty clean that way. Over the last 20 years, they've been vaccinating uh, the people like crazy for everything. I even got a tetanus shot, right? It's more poison. No, thank you. I even told them when they said, oh, you need your tetanus shot. And I said to the nurse, I said, no, I don't want it. I said, you get it from uh, touching rusty things? I don't do anything like that. I'm not around rusty things at all. And she goes, oh, oh, okay, well, uh, <laughs> if you do, make sure you come right in. I was like, yeah, I'll do that, okay? Bye. You know, I won't be forced to do anything. It's just who I am, right? I do my best not to force anybody to do anything against their will either. Unless you're my child and it's for your benefit but all my children are gone so that doesn't happen anymore right yeah i know the world's going crazy it is it had to be this way it did you gotta see how bad they wanted it to get right just wait till more stuff comes pouring out of what was hidden you know that's why I look shit up on myself for, by myself, trying to prepare myself because there's probably stuff I don't even know or haven't thought about to, to learn about, right? But yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? It is. I'm glad I'm feeling better. I hope you're feeling good too. I do. All right, enough for today. I just... I just thought, oh, I should make a video. I haven't done it for a day or two, right? So that's why I'm doing it. Just in case you miss me. Because I miss you all. I do. Even though I don't know you. You watch my video. You give me likes and positive comments. And I appreciate you all. I do. All right. Enough now. That's enough. I love you all as a consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. Bye.